Hello and welcome back to Everything Tumblr Tutorials. My name is Rebecca Escott and today I'm going to show you another fun fall tumbler using vinyl, spray paint, and glitter. This is going to be one of the easiest tumblers I'm hoping that you guys will agree that I'm going to show you today. So this is the 12 by 12 sheet. I decided to go ahead and cut this on camera because normally I already cut down my sizes for my tumblers. But I just wanted to show you this time a 12 by 12 sheet that we're going to go ahead and cut down together. So I am going to go ahead and speed this section up um, just a little bit, but I also just wanted to really show you. And we're going to start off by cutting off those little white edges on all 12 by 12 sheets. When I've removed all of the white edges, I decided to cut four pieces of approximately two inches in width. So here's my design layout, and this is a guide. Please don't judge me. Sometimes I need a visual as to see exactly how I'm gonna do this before I start doing this. Once I'm happy with my visual layout, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with that one in the center. And I'm gonna go ahead and leave my decal there just as a guide for where I'm going to place that second vinyl right there in the center. As with most of my vinyls, I like to remove the entire backing because for me, it's just easier. Once I have that vinyl where I want it, I'll go ahead and remove the decal up and out of the way. You'll notice that the vinyl almost just wants to wrap itself naturally, but you do want to pull this back and this way we can make sure everything is nice and tight and that we do not have air pockets and or wrinkles. And we're going to pull back this side as well and we're going to make sure everything is nice and tight and lined up with the other half. Once we are happy with our placement, we're going to go ahead and cut off the excess vinyl using our craft knife. Now it's time to do the exact same thing to the top. So this time, again, the backing is completely removed and I'm literally just going to line up where the original seam is on the first vinyl strip. I'm also not going all the way to the edge as you will soon see in the upcoming clips that I stay literally a hair below that rim. Now I will not have to sand and I will not have to trim off the excess. Then when we get ready to epoxy, we already have a natural section to where our epoxy will adhere to this tumbler for our final coats of epoxy. All right, once we are happy that everything is nice and lined up, I'm gonna go ahead and use my measuring tape, again as my guide, to line up the bottom seam with the top seam. Once again, we're gonna go ahead and take our craft knife and take and slice that right down the center and then remove the excess vinyl. So once you have all of your vinyl taped off and protected, we're gonna go in with white and we're only gonna spray the bottom so that we can come in with AB Designs Girl's Best Friend, which is a brand new white glitter. Then I'm gonna go ahead at the same time and spray this top section, Coral. It's the closest color that I had to pumpkin, so please don't judge me. Use the spray paints that you have on hand and make it work. 
So I took this out, I sprayed both sections at the same time, and now I'm gonna come in with the girl's best friend and glitter in at the bottom with white. As you'll notice, I'm keeping my tumbler at a downward angle to prevent any of that white glitter getting into my coral section so that I won't have contamination. If at this point you are happy with your glitter coverage, we are now ready to go ahead and move in to using the pumpkin. Okay, for this section, you will notice that I'm gonna keep my tumbler at a perfect horizontal angle, and then at some point, turn it downward, if that makes sense, just again to prevent this pumpkin glitter from contaminating my girl's best friend glitter. Looking back, I'm thinking I probably should have done the pumpkin first and then the girl's best friend, but thankfully I didn't have any issues with contamination and we're moving forward. Okay, if you guys are happy with your glitter application, we are now ready to go ahead and remove the tape immediately. Am I the only one that thinks removing tape around this glitter application is super satisfying? I don't know, let me know what you think down in the comments. I really hope you guys are enjoying this video, and if you are, please hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials coming soon. Once you've removed all of your tape, you're going to want this to completely dry for about 20 to 30 minutes. Once dry, we're then going to go in with the clear seal from Rust-Oleum and seal this glitter really, really well. After about another 20 to 30 minutes, you can go into your first coat of epoxy. So for my first coat of epoxy, I am going to go in with Fast Set from Counterculture DIY. So allow your fast set to completely dry based on your temperature. I already know from experience that in four hours I can start the design process of my tumblers. As with any coats of epoxy, make sure you use your heat torch to pop any bubbles that you may or may not be able to see. So I'm gonna keep this tumbler design very, very simple. We're going to be using the decal Just a Girl Who Loves Fall from AB Designs. This is a clear cast decal and all links will be in the description for you guys below. As I've stated before, clear decast decals do not need to be sealed at all. You just want to make sure that you have a clean, non-sanded, epoxied surface when applying these decals. As with any decals, you really want to focus in on trying to center it up. And I just eyeball it because I've done this for so long. Um, but you do whatever is most comfortable for you to make sure that you have a straight lined up decal. And as always, I work from the center out. So I absolutely loved the simplicity of this tumbler. So I decided to not add any vinyl strips. I decided, believe it or not, to not add any nail tape. Everything looked so clean and so sharp, I decided to leave it as is. The only thing that I did add at the bottom was the vinyl to match to bring the whole tumbler full circle. I cut that vinyl piece at two and a half inches and placed it down here at the bottom. Here's a closer look at the rim. It's super clean. I don't need to do anything further with this tumbler except go ahead and apply its final coat of epoxy. 
For all of my final coats of epoxy, I do use the Artist Resin from Counterculture DIY. I want to thank you so much for watching and be sure to find us on Facebook at Everything Tumblr Tutorials for continued learning. Remember, all links will be down in the description for you guys below. As a reminder, make sure you use your heat torch to pop any bubbles that you may or may not be able to see.